Oh, look at this. That's right. Taxi hauling a trailer on the train tracks. How you doing? I am David in Ark. Welcome to the show. And uh, in today's episode, we are going to take a taxi, just your regular everyday taxi, drive it here on the uh, train track train station map. And what I'm going to do is uh, position the vehicle on the tracks. And then once we've got it kind of in place, um, now you, you can actually use the world editor and I wholeheartedly recommend using the world editor for this, but you know, hey, uh, once uh, you get it kind of positioned, then you want to jump in here and you're going to change the front suspension front wheels and you want to do the Bligio, uh train wheel pack or something like that. There you go. The Bligio front train wheels for the front and then in the back. Now we're using a standard length version of this vehicle uh, of the burn side. So you want to use the train wheels for the rear. Uh, if you were using a limo burn side, then you could use the limo wheels instead. Now we're going to use the node grabber and just uh, move, <laughs> move the car into position so that the wheels are on the train track and drop it like it's hot. Oh, that is so, so cool. All right, there we go. And now we have train wheels on the Burnside taxi and we are just going to drive down the train tracks and as we travel along here we'll take in some of the awesome train station scenery look at that so so cool all right here we go off into the oh i am on the wrong track <laughs> this is not good oh oh and oh well <clears throat> i'll tell you what let's restart things and and try a different uh, situation here all right so we have got the uh, as part of this mod you add in this ui interface and this allows you to control the switching mechanism and so i think for this one uh, we are actually on the right hand side just before tm11 uh, and so i think what we'll do is we'll set this up so that we go down to the CL rail and then come back up again. Um, I don't know, just for fun, just to see what happens. And so I'm curious to see how well or how poorly this thing will handle the switching. If you've seen the last uh, video, especially the, uh, yeah, my last video on this where I had the 20 train cars uh there was a bit of derailment because of uh, some of the spacing uh, here along especially in the switching areas but this seems to be doing just fine so far of course a big part of this is making sure that i've got the switching set correctly in the first place and honestly that just takes some time some patience some practice wrapping your head around the way things look and look at there completely changing tracks down here. Now, I did not go to the bottom one, not for any particular reason, just because I didn't want to, but of course you could if that's how you wanted to set up your switching. And so we are just <laughs> cruising through the train station in a taxi on the rails because it's BeamNG. You can do this kind of stuff. By the way, I will have a link to the train station mod and Bligio's train wheels mod down in the description, but they are both available in the repository. So you can just search for train wheels. You can search for train station and they will both come up. So, uh, but I will have links to them in the description and look at this. Now we are switching ourselves back up toward the quote top of the tracks and one more switch this will put us on the main line that goes all the way around oh that is so cool that is so much fun i don't know why i don't know why this is so much more fun for me in a car than an actual train i i have no idea i just i i just think this is so so cool Oh, this is, yeah, here we go. Heading for the Iron Bridge, the trestle. Ah, very nice. That is so cool. By the way, the train wheels only work for certain vehicles. Basically, 
Uh, it's only going to work on cars uh, because truck bodies are too wide. Um, and it's also in the. It's not going to work for the bus. Uh, and it's also going to only work for the vehicles that were part of the game when this mod came out. So newer vehicles are not going to have the train wheel options. Here we are, first person. We are at 88 miles an hour. And no, we're not in a DeLorean, so therefore we're not doing any time travel. Although there's a whole lot of oscillation going on. I can see why we derailed the last time when we were pulling these. Oh, and by the way, if you attempt to hit a switch at 88 miles an hour, you absolutely get thrown oof, off the tracks. And I don't know, something definitely grabbed the vehicle. She broke. All right, so in addition to vehicles, there is actually part of the same wheel pack. You can swap out the wheels of the caravan for train wheels. And that is fantastic. Now, the thing you see down below the or, or in front of the wheel in the trailer on the ground is the table. For whatever reason, when I swapped wheels, the table fell through the floor. So, you know, it's beam NG. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's, it happens. But as you can see, the switching takes place just fine. There's no problem hauling a trailer around the track. Uh, why you would do this? I don't know. Like I said, it's beam NG. So there you go. That is so much fun. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I love this game. I really do. It, 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 you can do it. You're really only limited by, well, your imagination first and foremost. And then second, um, yes, you're limited by, you know, what's available or whatever, but still, if you, if you just open your mind to what's out there, holy cow, the possibilities. So, so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hey, uh, I want to give a special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, 7220 Gamer, and the Maestro of Madness, who all support the channel through Patreon and through channel memberships. Channel memberships you can check out down below. Patreon is patreon.com slash David in Art. You're welcome to do that if you want to. You, of course, there is no obligation. You don't have to do something like that. I would appreciate it, however, if you jam that subscribe button and click on the notifications. I've been told by several folks that they're not getting notified of my videos getting posted. That's a thing that YouTube does every now and then. So just come on by, check back, see what we've got going on. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. It really, really means a lot to me. I can't believe we're almost at 11,000 subscribers as I'm posting that. You guys are phenomenal. You're awesome. And I appreciate it so, so much. I am David in Ark. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive. Have a great day.